so welcome back to my video I hope you're all doing really really well today I'm going to be doing a all about the base video um, but today is not going to be like the classic full coverage foundation routine I'm going to do a video on how to get flawless skin with a light base so I'm going to cover skincare and everything to do with skin really to just make your skin look really natural um, but you know like put together um, not like super super natural but you know it looks flawless but it's not really heavy or it's not full coverage do you know what I mean before we go on to the video I'm going to do my post notification shout out today's one goes to Kristina thank you so much Han for this week comment um, if you guys want to get a post notification shout out next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and comment in the comments below when you have done so I think you guys know the drill by now so I'm gonna stop rambling. Shall we just jump straight into the video? I did film a video on this and I will be posting up tomorrow. Um, I'm still iffy about the amount of uploads I want to post a week because it's very hard to find ideas and I feel like quality definitely is more important than quantity so I think I might keep it at four, not five, four, you know. I'm still playing around and I'm trying to figure it out but I think for now let's jump straight onto the skin um the first thing i'm going to apply is my serum you guys know i love the ordinary alpha arbutin this is really good to even out your skin tone make sure you are wearing spf every day well you have to be wearing it every day and nevertheless but um this is stuff is this stuff is really really good um i'm on my second bottle i do go through these a lot but again the price is super affordable so it's fine. This is what the Alpha Arbutin looks like. It's just super simple. It's in a pipette. Oh, and by the way, everything is a drugstore, which is super exciting. So you're going to get a flawless base without having to spend too much of your coins. I don't know why I feel like I'm in a really good mood right now. Like, I feel super motivated to film. This morning I wasn't, though. I don't know what changed it. I think it's this eye look. I really am liking this eye look. Okay, so that's on my skin. It's quite tacky. I really like it, to be honest. But I put this every morning and night. Then I am going to go in with my SPF. This is the Body Shop Skin Defense. This is such a good SPF because there's no ashy cast. It's very lightweight. It sinks in very quickly. Um, but I think the best thing about it is that there's no ashiness. I just pop a big dollop of that all over. Don't forget your neck. Next up I'm going to use an ordinary natural moisturising factor, um, this I apply whenever I really want to to be honest. It's very hydrating but it's um, very lightweight, like, it's a different kind of moisturiser. But it definitely hydrates my skin without making me look too greasy. My skin has had an allergic reaction to something, I really don't know what, it doesn't look like it but I can definitely feel it. So yeah, that's the skincare done. Next you want to go onto your primer. Um, I've just realised, I don't know if the body shop is um, drugstore. Is it? I don't think it is. I mean you can get the smaller size for £9, so I guess that is drugstore. Okay, and you get 40% off discount if you're a student sometimes. Sometimes you just need to look out for those offers. Um, so next up, I'm going to go in with the Revolution Pro Radiant Peach Primer. This is their brightening primer. I really like this. It really feels like the um, Fenty Beauty Primer, but I mean, not exactly the same, but it has that feel. And it definitely doesn't have the sm same smell, but... But I've realised when I put this primer on and I keep my makeup on all day, it literally does not budge. And it does give a little bit of a cast. Just ignore that because you're going to put your base, but I wouldn't recommend it on its own, to be honest. Next up, I'm going to grab... I'm going to grab some of the Makeup Revolution Concealer in C12. Something that's close to your skin colour. And I'm just going to put a bit here. Just to give that extra coverage in that area. But you definitely want to go with something that's close to your skin colour because you don't want it to go ashy or anything. Okay, now that we've got that covered, I'm going to go in with... This is like literally the best thing ever. Um, it's the LA Girl Pro BB Cream. 
This is in the shade medium, like I recommended this to so many of you guys and so many of you have sent me messages about how like you've loved this stuff and it works amazing for you. Honestly, like on days where you just want to look super natural, super like skin like, this stuff is so good and they, they've got an okay shade range and it's super affordable and trust me I've tried a lot of BB creams but they go so ashy on me and not a lot of them have a good shade range. Um, this one has a decent one and it's affordable and it's just so good. So what I do is I put a dollop on the back of my hand and I don't want to put too much because I want it to be super natural. So I'm just going to use a stippling brush. This one's by Clinique, definitely not drugstore but I really like this one. This is the Real Techniques one, it's really good too. It's just a regular stippling brush. I don't put a lot of product on my forehead because I feel like that's the place where I just need the least product. Like, I don't need much there. And I'm going to put a little bit around my mouth. This stuff is super hydrating, by the way. Okay, just give it a little second. It will kind of adapt to your skin tone. Feel free to put down, some down your neck. It's super lightweight, by the way, guys. Next up, I'm going to be using the uh, EX1 Delete Fluid Concealers. Here's what they look like, and I really, really do like these concealers. I do mix 13 and 8 together. Um, they do have a stop problem of 11, but I am shade 11 normally. This concealer is super full coverage. Don't need a lot. Am I really gonna blend on my finger? I think I am. Oh my god, this concealer is so good with the finger. So I did cut my nails, by the way, guys. Um, I shortened them. They were super long, and now I've just made them like just regular square. And I think for me, like my preference is just that straight square kind of style. Look at that. That's just flawless. Do the other side. Don't be scared to bring it in the corner as well. Also, if you want to like bring it anywhere else where you feel like you need some coverage, feel free to do so. I need a facial. I think I need a facial. You guys are so sweet. You say that my skin's really nice, but. I don't know if I feel like, sometimes I feel like it's nice, but then sometimes I just feel like there's so much imperfections, but do you know I just need to get over it? Like, like what, what's wrong with me? I should just be grateful to have good health. For me, like, my most problematic area is around my mouth, so that's why I put, like, I try to balance it. The more you put, the more it looks nasty, so, yeah. So now I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Banana Powder. This stuff is really nice, but I'm actually running out underneath. You can set any areas you want. For me, it's mostly the center of the face. Okay, so my most favorite drugstore like bronzer kind of highlight thing is this. The Maybelline Master Bronze Palette. I've talked about it so many times, but it's just so good. So I kind of grab a small brush, get the bronzer. My, the bronzer is like my favorite. It's just like the perfect color. I'm going to use the highlight from the same palette but before we go into that I'm going to put some blush and I have been obsessed with this um, LA Girl Just Peachy blush. Um, it's available on Beauty Bay. Did I just break my nail? Nope. Gives a nice peachy flush to the cheeks. Okay, I'm going to take the highlight from the 
Master Bronze palette just a little bit. It's actually one of my favourite highlighters from Maybelline. Okay, and just to finish off, I'm going to use some of my NYX Dewy Setting Spray. I used to love this stuff. I only put a little bit because this stuff makes you look dewy. Far, far. <gasps> Don't need too much. No, too much. All right, guys. So this is the Flawless Natural Light Base. I mean, the products are really good, guys. And this is going to last you all day could touch up with some powder if you needed to but yeah digging the base is just beautiful and it's like my skin you know um so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i will be doing a full coverage one very soon maybe next week um but yeah if i wanted a really light base this is what i would do i can do even lighter with just concealer so let me know if you want that um could call it like next to nothing skin maybe i don't know <laughs> it's so hard finding title names that are interesting and makes you want to click on them you know and watch the video but yeah thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed this one and yeah make sure to comment in the comments below what you think and i will see you in my next video Thank you.